So today we are uh, hosting here our distinguished uh, guest, Brian Taylor. And uh, Brian, maybe first uh, please introduce yourself. Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Brian Taylor and I'm an audiologist. Uh, I am also the editor of the Hearing News, which is uh, the Hearing Healthcare and Technology Matters blog. It's a weekly blog with several authors. We publish a lot of industry news as it relates to uh, the uh, audiology and hearing healthcare industry. Uh, I'm also a consultant for a couple of different com uh, companies in the industry. Okay, thank you, Brian. And uh, uh, what brings you here to CES? Can you give us some uh, view on this? Sure, well, uh, I come from the hearing aid industry and I see over the last few years a lot of new prod uh, products hitting the market. It seems like every year uh, products are getting smarter, faster, cheaper, and uh, I think for uh, the hearing impaired population, for audiologists, it's important to uh, know what these products can do. So uh, we all heard about the recent changes uh, made by FDA uh, regarding uh, the spacing of hearing aids. and. Uh, what uh, we in consumer electronics uh, industry can do to capitalize on this opportunity? Well, it's, a, it's a, an incredible opportunity. Uh, I think, uh, as you know, there's a huge unmet need. Uh, millions of people around the world that have uh, uh, especially milder hearing losses and even normal hearing that uh, find the current products uh, too expensive, uh, sometimes difficult to access. So I think there's huge opportunities uh, in the industry, uh, huge opportunities uh, for consumers to take advantage of some of these uh, technologies as well. Okay, so uh, what uh, can we do in the consumer electronic industry to make an alliance with audiologists to bring uh, uh, this uh, uh, affordable, low cost and advanced solutions to hearing impaired people? Well, that's, a, that's the million dollar question. I, I don't know, I have some thoughts on that. I don't know if they're uh, correct or not, but uh, I think that uh, consumer electronics companies need to know that there are uh, people out there that have more complicated losses that require the expertise of an audiologist. So there's opportunities, I think, to partner uh, and maybe sort out patients and send them to an audiology office that have a more complex, more complicated problem uh, that would need their expertise. Uh, I think there's opportunities to bring products into an audiology office that are at a lower price point, that have multiple uh, functions, that can help people with milder losses, uh, you know, cope in situations where they're noticing some, uh, you know, I think about the baby boomers, the people that are in their 50s and 60s that, uh, you know, they have a normal audiogram, but they might struggle in one or two situations. Uh, I think a lot of the products that I see here, including yours, would be uh, excellent solutions for that group. Uh, thank you, and uh, uh, have you seen anything that uh, deserves uh, special attention uh, for uh, hearing impaired? Well, I think, uh, like your product, among them, there are some other products that I see that, uh, you know, I think you use the term, and I use the term, kind of the Swiss Army knife. They have multiple applications uh, for listening to music, for talking on the phone, for helping listening, uh, conversations and background noise, uh, in the car, uh, things that pair to your smartphone. I think those kinds of technologies uh, are well suited for those uh, baby boomers that uh, uh, audiologists are trying to bring into their office. So I see incredible opportunities. Thank you very much, Brian, for coming to us. It was a pleasure. Oh, that's and, my, uh, yeah. my, uh, thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much. Uh,